Hello everyone, welcome to Gomes Tech Talks channel and welcome to module 1, unit 1 of our business central functional consultant 101, mastering the essential series. In this module, I will be delving into the exciting world of business central for functional consultants. Today, I will be covering the fundamentals of business central for functional consultant. This is module 1, unit 1, where we will be understanding the world of business central and what it means to be a functional consultant in this domain. So this is about me. Uh, I'm Dr. Gomati, your trainer for this course. I have extensive experience and expertise in um, Power BI, that is Power BI, Power Platform and Microsoft 365 fundamentals as well. I'm thrilled to be your guide on this learning journey. And this is today's agenda. Now let's take a quick look into it, like we'll be understanding what is BC, if you are seeing this video as a, um, a first video, um, if you are a functional, if you are new to Business Central, so you should know what is uh, BC and we'll understand uh, what is ERP, that is Enterprise Resource Planning. We will understand core functionality of BC, who is a functional consultant and business central functional consultant, that is the role of the functional consultant and the real life scenario of functional consultant and business central project. So business central is a cloud based enterprise resource planning solution designed to empower small and medium sized business, which is to streamline their core business processes. It brings together the financial management, supply chain operations, sales, customer services, and many more. That is all on one unified platform. So as I told, it is a cloud-based ERP. It is not a software. Like we will be discussing only about the cloud-based ERP system. And understanding uh, ERP, because here I have mentioned the word ERP. So you should understand what is ERP first if you don't know ERP. Let's get a basic understanding of ERP is and how it benefits the business. An ERP system, which is Enterprise Resource Planning System, which is a centralized database that allows different departments within a, com within a company to access and share information seamlessly. This real-time visibility enables better decision making, improved collaboration and greater operational efficiency. So here you can see in any business that will be a financial management. Of course, this is a mandatory one for every business, supply chain management, manufacturing resource planning, human resource management, customer relationship management. Of course, we also have more and more departments with ERP. This all these departments will be centralized and it will give us a seamless information and better decision making. And these are the core functionalities of a business central. So here you can see we have financial management, sales and customer, purchasing and vendor management, inventory and warehouse management, manufacturing, project management and human resource. So to talk about the financial management, it allows business to manage their financial operations, including general ledger, account payable, accounts receivable, budget and cash flow. Talking about sales and customer management, business can track leads, manage customer relationship, handle quotes, sales orders and invoice and analyze sales performance. This purchasing and vendor management enables the business to streamline purchase process, manage vendors, handle purchase orders and uh, optimize procurement acti activities. Inventory and warehouse management helps business to manage inventory levels, track stock movements and optimize warehouse operations. Talking about manufacturing, for business involved in manufacturing, it provides tool to plan and manage production process efficiently. Project management includes features for managing projects, tr tracking time and expenses and optimizing project resources. Human resource also offers HR modules to handle employee records, payroll, benefits, administration and other HR related tasks. So these are the core functionalities of Business Central. Then who is a functional consultant? Now let's discuss the role of a functional consultant. A functional consultant who works closely with the client to understand their business requirements and translate them into a functional specification for the implementation of the software solution. 
so uh, imagine that a company wants to uh, connect with you so who will be handling a technical person will not directly go and discuss with the client a uh, one that is a functional consultant who is a one who is a person who will discuss and interact with the clients okay they will just gather all the data and information from them and all the relevant information which are required in order to implement so business central functional consultant a business central functional consultant specializes in configuring and customizing the ERP system which is an enterprise resource planning system to meet the specific needs of a client's business process they act as a bridge between the technical capabilities of the system and the operational requirements of the client so let us understand this flow with a real time scenario okay a functional consultant is in professional who works closely with the clients to understand their business requirements and translates them into functional specification for the implementation of the software solution this is what we have understood okay in the context of microsoft dynamics 365 business central a functional consultant will be specialized in configuring and customizing erp system to meet the specific needs of the client business process they will play a crucial role okay so this with this you can imagine a medium sized manufacturing company looking to implement a microsoft dynamics 365 business central to streamline its operations so as a functional consultant you would be assigned to this project so here is a scenario what you will be doing i'll be highlighting all these things and later we will in the next uh, video we will understand the um, each and every phase that is each and every step in detail so the very first thing which you will be doing is what the requirement gathering so you conduct a meeting with the stakeholders from different departments such as finance production inventory and the sales to understand their current process pain points and desired improvements next one is business process analysis this will be the second one second part that is you will be uh, understand that is you have to analyze the company's existing business processes such as order to cash procure to pay production planning and financial reporting to identify areas for optimization and automation the third one is the system configuration so based on the gathered requirements and process analysis you configure business central to align with the company's specific needs this involves setting up the chart of accounts defining item cat categories configuring sales and purchase process and integrating with other systems if necessary the fourth one will be the customization in some case the client may have unique requirements that go beyond the standard features of the business central as a functional consultant you work with a technical team to design and implement or customizations to meet these specific needs and the fourth one is the user training you conduct comprehensive training sessions for the company's employees to ensure they understand how to use business central effectively in their daily task this helps to maximize the system's benefit and user adoption testing and validation collaborating um, with the client's team you conduct rigorous testing to ensure that business central is functioning as expected and meeting the predefined requirements and uh, and the sixth stage is what go live support during the system's go live phase you provide on site support to assist the company's employees in using business central and addressing any issues that may arise post implementation support after implementing okay so after implementing like what are the supports which you can provide after the successful implementation you continue to provide support and assistance to the company addressing any questions additional training needs or system adjustments as the business evolves so these are the eight uh, phases of every functional consultant so in between you will be also discussing with a client okay and the technical consultant imagine that you are a functional consultant here you will be the bridge between the client and the technical consultant who should develop the business central okay so you are functional consultant fc and there will be a technical con consultant and there will be a client so you will be talking with these people so yes in the above scenario the functional consultant plays a vital role in enabling the manufacturing company to harness the full potential of microsoft dynamics 365 business central improving their operational efficiency and supporting their growth and success 
so here um in the next video we will delve into the details of functional consultants roles and responsibilities essential skills required for success in detail so where i'll be covering all the phases which we have discussed so join me with the module 1 lesson 2 where we will explore all these things in detail and talking about the my uh, module uh, that is upcoming videos i am planning to uh, discuss more i have also created a structured uh, uh, that is structured content for business central functional consultant and module 2 will be i'll be discussing about the user interface essentials in dynamics 365 business central before i wrap up i encourage you to leave your valuable comments and check the description for most important link if you find this video helpful please share it and hit the like button thank you for joining me today stay tuned for module 1 unit 2 where we'll be exploring the business central functional consultant role and skills in greater detail see you in the next video take care bye bye